Yo, what's going on? I'm cooking with Jay Donovan, and today we're making an alkaline uh, pasta salad. And so it's one of my favorite things to make. Uh, it's just really good. It lasts, you know, depending on the size portion you make, it lasts a good while. And so it's become, you know, one of me and you know my family's favorite uh, dishes to eat. And so uh, these are the ingredients that you need to make this. All right. And so we're gonna start off with some bell peppers, some baby bell of mushrooms. You wanna need some cherry tomatoes, some fresh basil, uh, sea salt, onion powder, dried oregano, cayenne pepper, lime juice, uh, light raw agave, and uh, olive oil, and some spiral kumul noodles. So let's get to cooking. All right, so now we're gonna start with, uh, you know, sauteing the mushrooms and the bell peppers. Uh, because we already, you know, skipped a step and we did our noodles, you know, we boiled our water and we uh, cooked our noodles, seasoned those with, you know, a little bit of sea salt and some bay leaves. And so, just gonna lightly oil the pan. You know, I don't wanna uh, oil it too much because you, at later we're gonna actually drain, you know, the, uh, the vegetables just so, you know, we don't have all that oil and uh, juice going into our pasta. We already got a sauce for that. I'm gonna lightly oil the pan. All right, let that warm up a little bit. Good. We'll start by doing our mushrooms first. I like sauteing the mushrooms first because the mushrooms take a little bit longer to cook, and you know they need a little bit extra love just to make sure we get cook all of that dirt off of there as well. Hopefully you clean everything with your spring water. Everything here has been cleaned with spring water already. I would always like to start with a little bit of sea salt in the mix. Mm. Smells really good already. Mm. All right, then next, I like to Add a little bit of onion powder. I want to add the onion powder too high because otherwise it'll be caught up, you know, in the steam and you won't actually be seasoning anything. It'll just kind of go into the air. Add a little onion powder. Mm-hmm. Next, we'll add a little bit of oregano. Not gonna add any um, dry basil to this because we're gonna have a lot of fresh basil in our uh, sauce. Add a little bit of oregano to that. Kind of build our flavors. I don't have any measurements uh, for these. I just kind of, you know, fill it out a little bit to be honest with you. We got those. And next is the most powerful cayenne. I'm gonna try not to be too generous with the cayenne, uh, but I do wanna have enough to balance it out for our basil and uh, for our basil dressing because it's gonna have some lime juice in there as well. So I just wanna make sure we have the cayenne to balance it out. And then next we're gonna add didn't mention this one earlier, but we're gonna add a little ground savory just for a little bit added flavor to the mushrooms. 
You just season it to your liking. Anybody know me? You know, I gotta have a little guy. Somebody was like, that's enough. I like a little kick, though. All right, so we got that there. Got the mushrooms nice and sauteed, not overly. Still wanna have some life in them. Don't cook them until they withered away. But now we're gonna add all of the fresh bell peppers. I like adding the fresh bell peppers last. Bell peppers last just cause, you know, they don't need a lot of time to cook. Uh, and you don't want to cook the life out of those as well. So, give them enough time to where they can embody the flavor that you've built with your mushrooms. And everything kind of become one. And again, I'm no chef by any stretch of the imagination. So if you feel any differently about this, you know, make it special to you. Cater it to the way that you like to cook and eat. And you know, this is how I cook. So to each his own, have fun with it. The best part about eating alkaline is creating, you know, new ways to eat and just having fun and learning new recipes and trying different things. So make sure you have fun with it. All right, so that part is done. I'm gonna turn our fire off and we'll just kind of let that sit for a little bit. We'll come back and drain that a little bit later to where, you know, all of that juice that's in here, we don't want that, you know, in our, we don't want all that juice in our pasta salad. So we'll drain all that so we could just have the, uh, the veggies, the good stuff. All right, let's make this sauce. Let's make this dressing. All right, so now, we're about to make our dressing for our pasta salad. So we're gonna use a food processor, but you know, if you don't have a food processor, you can definitely use a blender. Just gonna start, uh, we have two cups of fresh basil here. We're gonna put that in. And then next, we're gonna add a half cup of olive oil. Then we're gonna do uh, two teaspoons of our agave nectar. And uh, got about uh, two, two, two limes worth of juice here. That can equal, you know, I believe about four tablespoons. We'll add some more a little bit. I just I don't want to make it too limey. Uh, so then we'll add our teaspoon of sea salt, teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. And then we got about three quarters to a teaspoon of cayenne. We're gonna put about three quarters in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop this up and see what it tastes like. And then, you know, from there we'll go start adding a bit more or whatever, but you can definitely do it to your liking. Here. 
do want to add a little bit more of the lime juice. Taste test time. Taste a little bit. Let's see what we are on. Yeah. All right. We definitely want to put the rest of that lime juice in because I can taste the three quarters. You know, feel free to add, you know, other uh, veggies that you like that's on, you know, the approved alkaline list and, you know, just have fun with it. You could even add, you know, olives to this as well, you know, for that, that, that kick, uh, you know, that olive uh, flavor. You can add some cucumbers to this if you like. If you don't want to have it, you know, too much dressing, uh, but you can never have, you know, too many vegetables in here. I like to keep it simple. I just do it with the bell peppers and the uh, mushrooms and the cherry tomatoes. All right, so that's nicely mixed in there. Got a real even base. Tilt it, you know, to the side, not to get any of that juice in here. It's just all the edges. Some cooked bell peppers and mushrooms. Veggies get a good veggie to pasta ratio. 
So then, one of my favorite parts, adding these cherry tomatoes. Add for a nice, bright pop. And just fresh flavor in all of this. And there you have it, pasta salad the alkaline way. <laughs>